We're gonna be talking about this new slasher film called Pearl. Amazing. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm gonna talk about movies and books and things that I'm learning, especially for storytellers. So, if you're a new storyteller, welcome. We're gonna be breaking down this movie into what I liked about it and perhaps uh, use it on our next stories, writings, whatever. we can get out of it. So let's get started. All right, first of all, what is it about? It's a film about this girl who ends up murdering her entire family because her dreams are frustrated somehow. <laughs> so we can see this interesting plot really resembles The Wizard of Oz in a sense for me. You know, there's this girl, Pearl, who has great dreams of living this uh, great dream life and becoming a great movie star and dancer and living the American dream. But she somehow just can't get out of her simple town and farm. Everything seems to go like, sideways so she just starts going crazy her mother is kind of special you know she wants her to stay in the farm drop all her dreams forsake them never think about them again and just stay home to help with uh her crippled husband which has some weird disease i don't know what it is he can move a riddle to a wheelchair so imagine how tough it must be for i mean for pearl and her mother you know she obviously had dreams of her own which end up frustrated and then she's just looking for help from pearl and maybe she thinks okay i don't want her to suffer as much as i did she knows how reality has to be she's trying to protect pearl in a sense Maybe she's being selfish and trying to project it onto her daughter, or maybe she's just being a good mother. I don't know how you would see it, but she's harsh. She has um, some deadlines for her. She doesn't want her to go out, meet men, or go to the movies. It's a silly dream, of course. Who is gonna do that? Nobody. So Pearl gets frustrated. She meets this cool guy who works at the movies, screens them at the local theater, and this guy inspires her to become a dancer. She has it all. She's pretty, she's got the voice, she's got the moves. Perhaps she can do it, and she can live for other people for the rest of her life. That's an interesting notion, the, the call, right? There's this dance. This dance is going on. There's gonna be a, a casting for girls that know how to dance for this cool Hollywood movie. And well, Pearl, of course, she wants to go. So this is the incident that just gets like everything moving. How is she gonna get there? And whatever tries to conflict with that and, and prevent her from doing it, she will demolish. I think it's truly interesting how to see, I can relate to those dreams of trying to get out of your normal world and break out of this mold. But then she suddenly kills something. So I'm like, okay, she's a murderer, but she's got this like, nice side and uh is, is she being cornered by the world is she like suffering would i do the same in her place of course i would it's just a nice way to relate to the character after that she appears at the casting studio with one of her friends and she doesn't get the role That unleashes hell over everyone because she knows that she has failed and she believes that she will never get out of the farm and starts killing off everybody in her path. If she can't have her dreams, nobody will. Everyone will have to suffer what she has suffered starting by her parents. So she kills everybody and ends up becoming the serial killer that will be featured in further films, I believe. So that is the story that Pearl undergoes. As you can see, some basic, like, not basic, but famous hero's journey and anti-hero of sorts. She has this normal world, the form, whatever it is, and then she begins this tragic deconstruction of her own persona and becomes this full-fledged killer when her desires become frustrated. It was some part of her nature, maybe, who knows? She kills something out of frustration, out of envy, out of some genetic code, we don't know about that, but things start to happen, things start moving. She ends up falling to the darkest pit That is the belly of the whale when she sees that, well, her dream of becoming a movie star won't come to be. And then there comes a brush of death when she kills her parents and everyone else. <laughs> Basically, the um, his, his boyfriend comes back home and finds her and she looks at what she has become. And we can see this great performance, I believe, by um, uh, Mia. The actress is called, I'm sorry, Mia, I forgot that. 
and he was, she's just staring to the camera and we can feel that pain and, and, and somehow joy in trying to, I don't know, this inner turmoil and conflict of the frustrated dreams and killing instinct that is dwelling within her. That is just amazing. That is amazing. And that is the whole story arc that she undergoes. It's a truly interesting film. I like the cinematography. Old school style of movie resembling, you know, Dorothy and Wizard of Oz and the fonts and the lettering and those old shots. They just took me back to like one of those Butch and Cassidy movies. So I really enjoyed it. Great performance by the actors, especially, you know, the leading actress. Oh my god, that was so cool in the ending scene. You really gotta see it. I believe we've broken down. I really, really, really recommend that you see it. I would give it a 7.5. 7.5 will give it. Great cinematography, great acting. Perhaps there were moments where the tension wasn't enough for me. Uh, you know, in the approach of the bad guy and how she ends up killing everybody. But it's a really entertaining film of a deconstruction of this persona, of this anti-hero becoming a full-fledged serial killer. Interesting. Let me know what you think about it. Drop your comments below. If you enjoy what you see, drop a subscribe. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.